the next comic? Yeah! yeah. This guy plays all over the East Coast, up and down, colleges, bars, give it up for Joe Murphy! Shit, Judd. <laughs> Quick story, just so everybody knows, I went to Ohio State, he happened to go there, I swear to God, I didn't know he was going to be there. He's from Boston. I bet him when the Yankees were up 2 nothing that they were going to win the series, Boston came back when I'm winning the, winning the oh, World Series at the end. Yeah, and I, I had to pay him 50 bucks, what's up? <laughs> I also wound up shaving my fucking legs, getting a tattoo, like it was just a shitty fucking postseason. <laughs> George Steinberg. Fuck him. Glad he's dead. He didn't do enough for me in 2004. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Loud noises. <laughs> any uh, any Latin women in the house tonight? Yeah. yeah. Yay! None. Zero. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> uh, see, I'm a big fan of Latin women because they have the. Uh, ass and the sexiness of black women, but the social acceptability of whites. <laughs> I would love to date a black woman, but I grew up in an Italian family, so you can't date black women, you know? And like, my grandfather, like, he wasn't racist, he had a lot of black friends, but he'd always say, you know, you know, you could date a black girl, that'd be great, but what if you have kids, you know? I'm like, yeah, that'd be awful to have white privilege and a huge cock, you know? <laughs> I'm sure every day Derek Jr. wakes up and goes, SHIT! <laughs> Can you imagine getting an academic and an athletic, scholar, uh, athletic scholarship? <laughs> Shit's unbelievable. <laughs> Having a 401k and food stamps, like that is... If that's not life, I don't know what is, man. Then that one's racist, wait for it. Um, <laughs> I was uh, eating a Laffy Taffy the other day. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever eaten Laffy Taffy's, but on the inside there's these witty one-liners, you know? And uh, I was reading it, it was from Ruth, she was 72 from Mississippi. I'm like, oh my god, what a cute little grandma saying these jokes. And then I read it, and it said, which candy family is never on time? The Chocolates. Really, Ruth? <laughs> you racist bitch. Like, what other zingers did Ruth send in there that they didn't publish, you know? Like, uh, which candy family loves kung fu and sucks at driving? Love it. <laughs> which candy family loves pasta? Whoppers. <laughs> which candy family makes great lawyers and accountants? Juju bees. <laughs> Which candy family drives taxi cabs? Dots. We get it, bro. <laughs> At least you didn't say Snickers. Am I right? <laughs> I always get nervous when I say that joke. I don't like saying the N-word. You know, like, even when I'm listening to rap music, I will replace the N-word with honky. <laughs> Just because I don't like that guilt feeling that, like, sits in your chest. You know, like, uh, it's awful. I don't know. But I can't say it because I have black friends. And I have black friends for two reasons. Number one, if there's ever a zombie apocalypse, I know who's going first. <laughs> watch horror movies to see how that story goes. And number two, if you're going to have the smallest penis in your group of friends, you may as well wait to worth your while. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't want a bunch of mediocre white penises in mine. I'm like, what happened? You know, I want, like, big ones hanging on the knees. And they like, oh, there's that thing. What is that? <laughs> Girl looks at me, she thinks she's just looking in the mirror because my tits and my clit like dick. I get it. You know, I'm cool with that. <laughs> if I don't get late tonight because of that joke, I don't know what's gonna work. <laughs> this is a true story, and there's no punchline to it because I haven't written yet because it just happened to me, and I swear to God that this is true, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life. But next Thursday, I will be on the Maury Povich show. No. Swear to God, because a girl is bringing me up there for a secret crush. 
No way. I know what you're thinking. How has this not happened before? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm telling you it is, and I, I, there's no punchline, because I'm just telling you, now I'm just conversing with you people, because I feel like we're close, I told you about my penis and my tits, we're good enough, like, it's just, it's just this thing where it's like, it's, I don't know what to do, like, I, I don't even know, like, I'm afraid, what I'm most afraid of is that I'm going to get up there, and I asked them, I said, it's been a girl since birth, and they said yes, I'm like, cool, but the thing that I'm nervous about is like, you know, they always have those shows where it's like, Oh, she was an ugly duckling, and now she's hot, and she has a crush on you. What if they flip the script on me, and it's like this girl that was always hot, and I had a crush on her in high school, but then she, like, I don't know, got in a fire or something, you know? <laughs> she's gonna come out with, like, half a hockey mask on, you know? Like... I mean, I know I don't look like much, but I have standards. <laughs> I'm not gonna date the fam of the opera. <laughs> That wound up being a joke, I swear to God, I just added that. Look at it. That's more than I took a shit in a strip club yesterday. <laughs> Again, no punchline, that's just where my life is at. <laughs> you know, I'm 25, I'm living at home. Like, you know, take a shit in the strip club. What else is going on? <laughs> I didn't take out a loan because I go to strip clubs so much. <laughs> I swear I did. Again, true story, no punchline. I'm just <laughs> talking to you guys about my life. I went to a strip club blackout drunk, spent $5,000 in the back room. Had to take out a loan. I make, I make $500 a week. I need a girlfriend. Sort of old boy is down to. Hopefully, I'm Maury, you know? Phantom of the Apple was in the back. This is a fun room, huh? Not bad. Um, I'm single, as you know. <laughs> this is the theme of my life, you know? Like, I'm, I, I'm jealous of you. That's your girlfriend, or is this first date? Girlfriend? Girlfriend? How long? Ten months. Ten months? Nice. Good work, man. <laughs> I'd suck you to taste her. <laughs> I'm just going with the big guns tonight, folks. I'm just laying all out there for you. So, um, I'm single, and it happened this time last year. It was around the holidays. And, uh... The girl was like, uh, it's Christmas, I don't have money, I will give you whatever you want sexually, wink wink. I was like, perfect, I love getting blowjobs. I like standing up when I'm getting a blowjob though, because you're kind of standing over. The problem is, when you're a fat guy, you have to hold your stomach back, so she has enough room to operate. So she's taking the seven, four and a half inches the best she can, but her head's hitting me in the intestines, and I have to fart. Now... I don't know if you ever to fart during a blowjob, but it's the worst experience ever because you're trying to focus on what's going on in front of you and avoid what's going on in back of you. It's really kind of conflicting. I'm your favorite comic that I've seen in your eyes. Um, <laughs> you just want to give me detention right now. I see it in your teacher eyes. <laughs> um, the problem is, like, I had to fart, and uh, I'm, I'm like clenching my cheeks, I'm like, this is awful, and then she went her arms around me like this, I'm like, this is bad news. <laughs> and uh, this is the soundtrack of what happened. <laughs> ah, yes, <perfect>. awesome. <laughs> that, was, that was her bringing middle finger going into my ass, me farting on her fingers, busting her mouth, and saying, yes, perfect, awesome, because what else would you do in that situation? <laughs> my heart was going crazy, my leg was kicking, I looked like Michael Jackson. <laughs> I was laying there naked, motionless, at the foot of her bed like Heath Ledger. <laughs> and then she was staring at me like a girl just got farted on and ejaculated in. And I was like, why so serious? <laughs> Thank you guys, have a good night.